between restrictions imposed by the state which prohibit the intellectual commingling of students, restrictions imposed by the state, law and state action, which prohibit the intellectual commingling of students, and the refusal of individuals to, co to commingle where the state presents no such bar. That is to say, one does not wish to share one's note with one's fellow student or have lunch with one's fellow student over in the student union. Quite different than when the state says to Mr. McLaurin, you cannot sit in the classroom with white students. The removal of the state restrictions will not necessarily abate individual and group predilections, <coughs> prejudices and choices, but at the very least, the state will not be depriving appellant, that's Mr. McClory, of the opportunity to secure acceptance by his fellow students on his own merits. We conclude that under the conditions which this appellant is required to receive his education, deprive him of his personal and present right to equal protection of the laws. Right, personal and present, to equal protection of the laws. We hold that under these circumstances, the 14th Amendment precludes differences in treatment by the state based upon race, race solely. Appellant, having been admitted to a state-supported graduate school, must receive the same treatment at the hands of the state as students of other races. And uh, the judgment, of course, is reversed. All right. So back then to Washington. Last time I had ended by noting that Washington says, I do not advocate that the Negro make politics or the holding of office an important thing in his life. I do urge in the interest of fair play for, any, for everybody that a Negro who prepares himself, and I emphasize the word prepare, himself in property intelligence and character to cast a ballot and desires to do so should have the opportunity. And I emphasize here, and I also emphasize character. So a word on the latter in regard to character. Booker T. Washington says it over and over and over again. What is the it? Character, not circumstances, makes the man. Character, not circumstances, makes the man. This time I did come to this idea. One last time. Character. I mean, and this transcends taking a final at UWM to satisfy a, a um, general education, cultural diversity requirement. This really is about life. And uh, if there's any one thing that I would have imprinted indelibly on your minds long after you, well now, and long after you've left the schools and remain there until you're up to my age, and that would be what Washington says concerning character. Character, not circumstances, makes the man. Let's come and have a seat with Sam Malley. Um, and it is also for Washington crucial that there be not just any kind of preparation, but superior preparation. Washington believes firmly that it is not just good enough to prepare but one should have superior preparation. He also believes that when one has prepared in a superior manner, 
one should not be blocked in regard to participating in opportunities for which one has prepared oneself. He believes that simple justice and fair play necessitate that one has the, has the opportunity to demonstrate empirically, substantively, in everyday life, that preparation. And in this context, Washington, he cites a, a, a story, uh, and it may very well not be just uh, hypothetical, but in point of fact, uh, something of which he knows as a matter of fact. Uh, but I'm not going to put my head on the block for the latter. Uh, but very well could be the case. He speaks of a mother, a black mother, in one of the northern states. And let me just read for you uh, about 15 lines, which uh, are so compelling in regard to this matter of preparation and opportunity. Not long ago, a mother, a black mother, so again, here we're back to the color scheme, black, white, brown, Yellow, Supreme Court's decision in, um, remember, uh, Gong Long, Lee Rice, uh, the, the Mississippi Supreme Court decision more specifically. Um, the demonstrations which you saw yesterday, uh, in large measure, the, the color that uh, dominated the screen was brown. Uh, we trapped by this color scheme. Uh, in regard to this animal on the planet. But anyway, not long ago, a mother, a black mother, who lived in one of our northern states, had heard it whispered ar around in her community for years that the Negro, I'm using his term, not my term, that the Negro was lazy, shiftless, and would not work. Of course, and one oftentimes hear that, hears that to this very day concerning black people. Lazy, shiftless, black, who want something for nothing. Um, Things that one is entitled to something, reap where one has not sown. Anyway, so when her boy grew to a sufficient size at considerable expense and great self sacrifice, self sacrifice, Washington is a believer in sacrifice. Um, that, uh, one wants to get an A in Africology 106, 112. I've used this many times this semester, but there's a grand party over in uh, Sandberg, uh, Saturday night before the final, where there are women more fine than one has ever seen before, or men. And one says, yeah, I really need to just put in a little bit more, more work for this class, but maybe I can do that tomorrow. And then, uh, of course, the party goes on, and one has had a little bit too much to drink, so one sleeps all of tomorrow, and walks in here at exactly uh, 10 past 10, and then walks out of the class uh, with a D, uh, which lingers with one one's whole lifetime, uh, in consequence of one's transcript, because it remains there. <coughs> In contrast, say, no, I think I can see these fine women come, come the end of the month, or next month, or in some cases never. But I'm going to get an A for that class. Sacrifice, and sacrifice takes many forms. 